just woke up, made a cup of coffee in 1YC, Munahan has uploaded a video response to his fight with XQC because his feelings are hurt and his pride demands vengeance. Oh, this is going to be absolutely fantastic. 24 minute video. He's putting more effort into this than anything else in his life. Look at this. There's editings. There, there's stuff. This is going to be absolutely amazing. And I can't wait for the response from the mood of fanboys, which is absolutely insane. <laughs> because we have already seen it. Mudahar makes, makes a point that's rooted in delusion and non-fact. You pointed out, Mudahar fanboys, well it doesn't matter that it's not true, but it's a good point anyway. Oh, this is gonna be a great video, I can already tell. So, let's drink some coffee. Tell me, Mudahar, today's video is about a little controversy, uh, a little bit of juicy, uh, you know, debate back and forth. Now, for those of you who don't know, XQC is one of the largest streamers, alright, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we got into a fight yesterday, all right? We got into a real, we got we got into a Canadian Civil War. True, it was like watching two paraplegics try to fight each other, you know? Two people in wheelchairs just duke and doubt and they both fall out and it's kind of disgusting that you want to watch. So to speak, Toronto versus Quebec. Uh, obviously, the six was winning, but ladies and gentlemen, we got to talk about something serious. I don't really like getting into controversies or arguing with people on the internet for the sake of arguing. It is the internet after all. It doesn't goddamn matter. What I do care about are the bigger issues and the issues that, you know, pertain to this platform. Ta taking the uh, taking the high moral high ground, good, good, good. You know the the high ground matters, especially I the moral one. I care about the future of YouTube and fellow creators. I know that my time will come to an end, as somebody else's time will come to a rise. And generally, I want to make sure this platform is in the best possible state ever. So when I talk about people who are creating parasitic react content or people who are mostly going out of their way to uh, absolutely abuse tools on YouTube, like DMCA, like copyright claiming tools, then yes, I'm going to talk about it. Anybody that's suing a YouTuber, I will talk about it, because these are insane situations to be getting into. Life-changing, life-ruining scenarios in certain cases. So this all kind of stemmed from the fact that one creator, Bub Film, said Lamina spends months researching, scripting, editing a video, just for React streamers to re-upload the entire thing and provide zero input. Bro. I said, shame garbage like this fills the recommendations tab, because it does. Now, there are some creators that are totally okay with reactive content, some that aren't, but of course, the general idea- Mostly hypocrites who abuse React content themselves, but that's fine. Of reactive content, the ones that I've really talked about, is no matter what, if you upload somebody's entire video in full, not only is that incredibly copyright infringing, but because you're stuffing a finite amount of area in the YouTube algorithm and the recommendations engine, you yourself are stifling out other original creators on the platform. Now, I've always maintained that if you are reacting to videos on stream, that's totally okay. I think a lot of people do, especially when you're off on a different platform like Twitch, like Kick, like a Nico Nico TV, like Billy Billy TV, like TikTok. That take just now was a little bit more refined. He must have rewatched Dark Wipe reuse video. The first time he was talking about this, he clearly had forgotten what he said and he was just reverberating things poorly. Now that's a more refined uh, way of saying things. Okay, so he just rewatched the video. <laughs> Talk live, but it's when you take that reaction, or sorry, that whole two hour video block, or however long it may be, that contains the entire video you've reacted to, re-upload it to YouTube, title it in the same way, use the same metadata, and then ape on the algorithm. That's where the issue comes out from. Titling actually has nothing to do with it. You 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 can use the same title without any t uh, without any repercussions. It it, it is impossible. You, you you cannot do anything about the title. Two people can have the same title, and it will not affect you in any way. By the way, just pointing that out. Next, you see, decide to clap back and say. I wonder what triggers people like you so much. Revenue share, audience split, algorithm? I heard this complaint a million times. And most public figures try to attack it from multiple angles. Now, at this moment in time, nobody's bringing up revenue. I'm just really talking about the impressions, right? Based on the finite recommendations algorithm, if I'm trying to watch video- Wait, 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 wait. He's not- Whoa, 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 whoa. Huh. Whoa. He's not even showing his original video, you know, his take, which we, we went over, and it had 
what five words that don't mean anything just sound cool and you were used by buzzwords to sound smart oh come on show your full response most public figures try to attack it from multiple angles now at this moment in time nobody's bringing up revenue i'm just really talking about the impressions right based on the finite recommendations algorithm if i'm trying to watch videos out of like 12 possible blocks after my first well he's well that's a this this is a genuine take right there because uh He's, he's asking, uh, he's literally asking you, what is it? The revenue share audience split or algorithm? Why are you mentioning rev uh, revenue share, not audience split or the algorithm here? Why just the revenue share if this is such a bad, uh, this is such an unreasonable thing to t uh, say against you? Complain a million times, and most public figures try to attack it from multiple angles. Now, at this moment in time, nobody's bringing up revenue. I'm just really talking about the impressions, right? Based on the finite recommendations algorithm, if I'm trying to watch videos out of like 12 possible blocks after my first YouTube video, and all of a sudden, my 12 recommended videos, like five of them are reaction videos because I've watched similar content and obviously- uh, This is an interesting argument. I didn't say anything against it, but the reality of this argument is, uh, I'll just demonstrate it real quick for you. This is my recommendation tab. This is literally what I just saw, right? Bam! Another recommendation tab. Now, ain't that interesting? It wasn't exactly the same as the first one. <laughs> just, just gonna add quickly that one. Obviously, the metadata is being aped. That's a problem. That's what people are talking about because it stifles out original creators. That's pretty much it. Now, I really No, he's again using the fancy word metadata. Met what did he say? Metadata is being aped now? That's a problem. That's what people are talking about because it stifles out original creators. That's pretty much it. Now, I really. 12 recommended videos, like five of them are reaction videos because I've watched similar content, and obviously the metadata is being aped. That's a problem. That's. So. When Mudahar said that XQC is stealing metadata, is is this what he was trying uh, trying to actually say? That some some magically how XQC is forcing YouTube to show his video here? You know, was was that the metadata argument that he made? Because again, the met. Me Metadata. What is metadata? Metadata is defined as information that uh, describes and explains data. It provides context with details such as uh, source type ownership. Yeah, you see, not really sure what he's trying. Uh, what he's trying to say with metadata here. You know, if it's what's shown here, I, is that metadata? I don't know. But in his original post, which he is not showing, by the way, for some reason here, he did not mean anything anything of the sorts of that kind of meta metadata the way he was using the word metadata was to imply that xqc literally stole their video and now he's changing the definition that was the original way that he wanted to use the word metadata which still does not apply because metadata does not apply he should have just uh, written you stole his video and re-upload it uh, uploaded it. That's what he was trying to convey with metadata, which is stupid, by the way. That's what people are talking about, because it stifles out original creators. That's pretty much it. Now, I really responded back after that by saying, True. I know you're not the brightest, but I didn't expect you to be this intellectually dishonest. And it pretty much go with the entire statement that I oh. made. I've even said that we've demonized individuals like Jinx back in the day for being a terrible reaction creator. Now, to understand, the reaction history on YouTube has been insane throughout the years, and I'm going to go through a little bit of it just for you. So back in the earliest, like, 11 years ago, we had the Reply Girl controversy. So this is a video from 11 years ago, and if you see over here, somebody's showcasing that as they were watching Guild Wars 2 beta from the Yox cast, somebody literally mm. had just created reactive content. So in their recommendation system, like I'm telling you right now, got Starhawk open beta, that makes me feel old. You see that there's actual reply people. So they've done Re, Guild Wars 2 beta, World vs. World, and then all the similar... Wasn't this at the time when YouTube actually uh, allowed replies? I don't remember. Probably not. Like titles from the Yox cast. Not just similar, straight up copy the titles, and in some cases, 
a portion of the description. So they always show up in the side. Yep. Now, there is literally two p one piece of original content here. Minecraft Remote Control Mod by Blue Zephos. So for YouTube, this is terrible. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. This is incorrect. You, you can see it by the thumbnails potentially. If that if she if this woman is actually just you know just uh, talking in front of a camera, you know, pretty much you know just doing this, uh, then that's original content. It doesn't matter that she's talking about the video. That's original content. React content is literally you sit here watching a video like I'm doing right now. That's React content. But if she just has her thing and, and talking about it like this, that's called a review, Mudahar. That's called a review. The reason why probably everyone is pissed here is because 10 years ago, well, guess what? Google's engine wasn't really that great. And, well, uh... It most, uh, and the algorithm wasn't even remotely as sharp. This is why this is happening. Because you got that video, and then Google finds adjacent videos that look like it. And yeah, something that has literally almost the same name as it, probably is gonna get, you know, a lot of traction. Or if this is literally the reply feature where people could reply to videos, then yeah, this makes sense. And yeah, people didn't like it. That's why it was changed, because it's stupid. So for YouTube, this is terrible because if other channels started constantly popping up, people would just click off of YouTube. YouTube doesn't want you to leave its website. They don't want you to go to Netflix. They don't want you to go to TikTok. They want you to go to the next video. They will always try to create you a video that you want to watch. So this is one of the things that oh. gets me, right? Like this is one of the examples that people were making. YouTube had to change the way that its algorithm worked in terms of how it calculated watch time, how it recommend based on its metrics to give you different content and fix this problem. Then of course we had the Jinx reaction era, which if you look it up, it's pretty much all but gone. I don't Jinx remember that Jinx was one of the first one. people to just download eight videos and react to them, react in the worst possible ways. He would just sit there and occasionally make like a statement that did not offer any insight <laughs> Nothing period to the entire content. Nice. Even to this day, under YouTube's monetization... Okay, this is a litmus test for all the Mudahar fanboys. Uh, ha the, have I offered any insight on the situation? Yes or no? Leave it down in the comments. Don't, don't, don't be just an in, in, inbred fanboy. Policies. They have an interesting clause around repetitious content, but mostly around reused content. Reused content refers to channels that repurpose someone else's content without adding significant original commentary or educational value. The policy is taken from the AdSense search console portion. So what is allowed for monetization? While they mention that reaction videos in which you comment on the original video, one could question if freebooting the video falls under this or it doesn't. But what doesn't fall under this situation, content that violates this guideline, is content uploaded many times by other creators and clips of moments from your favorite show edited together with a little known narrative, promotion of other people's content, short videos you've compiled from other social media websites. Especially this situation right here puts a He's not understanding what this means. He's, he's not understanding what this means. Uh, this means if you make a video, someone re-uploads that video, and you for some reason don't do anything about it, you don't strike it, you don't remove it, you don't claim it, you don't do anything of it, then that video will not be monetized. But again, these by the way are YouTube's inner rules, which don't matter because YouTube just literally has them so they can remove people who uh, they don't like at any moment in time. YouTube's guidelines... Bruh, bruh, we're talking about a guy who constantly is complaining about YouTube being inconsistent in their enforcement of things and, you know, the guidelines not, not being not being understandable and whatnot. But here we have a situation where the, these un, ununderstandable bad guidelines are beneficial for his take, so he's going to use them even, even though previously these were the worst guidelines in human history. A lot of clip channels into danger 
For instance, uh, if let's say there are six clip channels for a creator and they all upload the same 20 minute clip, that can be really, really dangerous and possibly get all of them nuked out of the YouTube monetization system, if not get those videos striked. They will definitely be questioned under the monetization policy and maybe removed from it if it turns out that they are doing duplicate or repetitive content. I've dealt with- This is a lie. You have how- uh... You have literally a million food cooking channels that re up uh, that use huge chunks of their old videos. It's like there are there are currently cooking channels with twenty million subscribers on them, which YouTube is fully aware of, by the way, obviously because it's twenty million uh, channel, and they they do, they haven't posted the original video in forever. They literally just stitch together small parts of their other videos, and that's it. Like you know. The thumbnails are literally fake. The thumbnails don't even show what they are cooking. It just lo looks uh, like you want to click on it. Uh, and the video is a splice of something that they did two years ago, like uh, like splice two times over. YouTube knows that's happening. YouTube doesn't care. Again, these guidelines are not actually to ensure any kind of quality. These guidelines are literally made so YouTube can do whatever they want. Jesus Christ, like, grow up if you don't think this. ...creators and help them out, especially when commentary creators or people critical, people who make, like, documentary-style content have fallen under this because they may use a clip that's already been uploaded, like, a million times, and a bot trips, and people have to fix it up. So, generally, the spirit of this policy is to make sure we're awarding creators for original and authentic content that adds value to viewers. Again, as I said before, Sniper... YouTube officially came out and said Sniper Volt is a golden a golden child that everyone should aspire to be like. Sniper Wolf up uploads React videos, if you did not know. So, I, I don't know why you're pointing this shit out when YouTube literally themselves have said that Sniper Wolf is the best content creator that there ever was, and you should probably all strive to be like her. <laughs> and she just literally reacts to TikToks. Uh, if you put a funny or thoughtful spin on content that you didn't originally create, you've transformed the content in some way. It's fine to have this type of content on your channel, but individual videos may be subject to other policies like copyright, which is where we're going to get I'm into out of towards coffee. the uh, second act of this video. Now, in XQC's original statement, he says, I'm watching a video I like to my people, that's it. So I'm not going to bring up the fact that uh, XQC is, in some cases, literally stepping away from the computer to go to bathroom breaks while a video is running. Therefore, not making that portion of his True. reaction transform the content. Is the same. But once you say I'm watching a video I like to my people, you have literally admitted that you're not putting a video up for fair use purposes. You're not there to con- I wonder in legal terms, is it possible to say that I went to the bathroom as a performative stunt because the video was so fucking trash at that point? I use the creative way to show that I don't like it and that, that so I left and didn't even watch it. I wonder can that be used as legal defense? And don't pretend like any single one of you knows the answer in the comments down below. No one of you knows. I don't know so you definitely don't know. Wanna be lawyers that don't even know what prejudice means? Comment on it. You're not necessarily there to report news. You're not there for offering like actual critique commentary. You're literally just showing a video you like to your people. Now I'm gonna just tell you right now. We can argue in a similar way. Uh, another comparison. I like the movie Hackers. I want to show it to my audience. Let me upload that review onto YouTube. Oh shit! Or not review that reaction to YouTube. Oh wait, this independent studio called Metro Goldwyn Mayer is now suing me. Oh shit! How could I have avoided this? Now, XQC's even watched animes like Hunter x Hunter and The nah. Dark Knight. The Dark Knight where Kick Staff had to go in and be like, we just gave you a deal, don't ruin it. Why was that not uploaded to YouTube? Was it because uh, you didn't want to share that with the YouTube Andes, the frogs? Yeah. Or, uh, you know, maybe it's because there was a big studio stopping it the entire time. And you realized that you couldn't get away with it and you could have actually faced a lawsuit. 
XCC's numbers are actually so low. He probably didn't realize that, by the way. It's pro it's most likely like his uh, YouTube editor or whatever uh, he calls it realized, oh wait, that's gonna get me sued and I'm gonna also go down with XQC, so that's why it wasn't uploaded. Arch that some people, if they were suing him, could consider him a broadcaster at this point, believe it or not. Now, yep. XQC's response to me was, damn, I knew you liked using big words so that people would give your takes more importance. Uh, dog, where did I use a big word here, okay? Let's look through my entire thing. Intellectually, so... Oh, okay, where, where, where do we uh, have big words? Uh, metadata? That was not used correctly. Uh, nothing is here when you view live content. Live content was used incorrectly. Nothing that XQC watched was live content. So this is again a buzzword, another buzzword. Uh, but in their own, you claimed that you were just uh, sharing a video. Uh, I don't think there was anything here. But I don't even remember now. Intellectually, that's six syllables. Inherently, inherently, four syllables. Syllables don't make a word complicated or big. Dog, I'm sorry. It's basic English, okay? We both went to university. And you failed at that. You went for chemistry, if I'm not mistaken. I went for computer sciences. We didn't take real English, but at least we know that it's a language that we use. Come on now. Stop it. Little brother used... To Reddit is down the hall and to the left. Used a 2017 example where I talk about jinx. Um, yeah. Is that by the way a Reddit thing? Little we brother? We talked about why that was... I thought that's just a black thing demonized back then uh, because every black creator uses little brother in some way or form it's on twitch especially for the large part people still demonize it now i'm sure there are some fervent supporters no one demonizes it no 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 one fucking demonizes react content it's a losing battle it's there's no point in demonizing react content almost because you have XQC, you have Hassan, you have Asmongold, literally three of the big... Oh, and Pokemon, I guess we can even throw uh, throw in here. And, well, many other smaller creators, but these are the biggest ones, and they represent pretty much Twitch to a very, very high extent, and they have the biggest audience and whatnot. And they are completely fine with React content. Asmongold is even gonna tell you that, that he is doing the world a service by doing React content because it cannot ever be bad. So yeah, that's kind of how it happens. And well, on YouTube also, a lot, of co uh, a lot of political commentary channels are complete React channels, you know? That barely speak anything about the subject in a lot of cases. It's pretty insane. So this is a losing battle. You you can't you can't win this because the people the because the people obviously without portals all, always kind of outweigh the people with portals nowadays, and that that is kind of react uh, react thing. So yeah, good luck. No one's demonizing this content. No one cares. Little brother used to... Reddit is down the hole until the behavior but then again they don't have actual evidence they don't have facts they don't have a cogent oh point shit what for facts them. and for the large part people still demonize it now i'm sure there are some fervent supporters of this behavior but then again they don't have actual evidence they don't have facts n n no one no one supports reacts people just are kind of like okay i don't give a shit they don't have a cogent point for this also, I talk to most of the YouTubers I take big content pieces from and react to. Maybe send daily... Wait a minute. They, uh, there, there, there is actually, there is actually a tangible piece of evidence. If you're a giant channel, like, for example, Asmongold, and you react to someone with, you know, like, 1k subs, that person will be extremely happy at the, at, at, at least at the very, very start. And they are gonna say, oh, this is great that he reacted to my con because they see this in a, as an opportunity. It's not really an opportunity. Probably it's gonna actually hurt you in the long run, but they, they will say that, uh, you know, reacting is good. Because there's a, bu there's a bunch of, like, small channels that uh, specifically try to use, like, for example, Mudahar in their videos, Asmongold, XUC, all of these big streamers in their videos. So, maybe that streamer reacts to their video because he's inside it and, you know, the ego needs to be fed. There are some fervent supporters of this behavior, but then again, they don't have actual evidence, they don't have facts, they don't have a cogent point for this. 
Also, I talk to most of the YouTubers I take big content pieces from and react to. Maybe send Daily Dose of the Internet, a call and compare numbers on uploads and react. And actually, Yeah, I literally had no idea what XQC even is remotely trying to say, but maybe send and compare numbers, uh, uploads and reacts. My speculation was that Daily Dose of the Internet uses, like, viral clips, means that Daily Dose actually gets less views in total than the original content. But that's a stupid argument. But then again, it's not like you expect anything smart from XQC to pop up, mostly. Even though, again, he is ironically probably one of the, sm uh, the smartest uh, people on Twitch. Because that guy has magically said some really, you know, in-depth things that he should never know about business and how it actually functions. kind of insane. It might be a pretty good idea, but talking to most of the YouTubers isn't exactly a good answer. Uh, unless your team is talking to all of them, your team never contacted me for watching any of my videos. Yep. Again, I'm not- Ah, that's a fake defense we call- uh, we talked about it. Mudahad has said it's fine, he will- he- Hey, he, he's not in the business of striking or doing anything, which essentially means that uh, his videos are free to get re-uploaded anytime you want. You- you know, you can literally just download his video, re-upload it, and call it a day contacted me for watching any of my videos again i'm not feeling bad about it but i'm just saying if you're going to say that you're talking to most you should try to talk to all i mean realistically a lot of people like daily dose of the internet will actually pay to license that material so yep. again you know the fact that you're just freebooting it onto your channel can be kind of dangerous he's paying a good chunk of money to license that material you aren't well, the difference here is the Daily Dose of Internet literally goes only after viral videos. Not. So actually, be worth looking into that. Until then, keep molding, little brother. We both know why you posted a tweet in the first place. Insecurity is a fucking bitch. Anybody that mentions insecurity first, and he's talked about money more than I have, is Ooh. definitely signs of serious insecure behavior. I'm actually making a point about impressions. I mean... <laughs> I mean, you... The, the irony of this is, you know, every one of these big people is absolutely insecure because they, everything holds up not with logic or being smart, having good points or making good videos or whatever. It, it's, it's pretty much just an uh, internet cloud that keeps them alive. Like, I mean... Obviously, Mudaha Mudaha's not making this video because he cares, uh, because he cares about, you know, uh, the being on the right side of history or whatever, right? He's not doing that. No. And, and the, view, the proof of that is, by the way, right in front of you because he titled the video, XQC and I had a big fight and he's in the wrong. Yeah, this has absolutely nothing to do, nothing to do with... You know, he's not hes not even trying to pretend that this uh, this has anything to do with copyright. He's not titling, uh, me and XQC were debating about, uh, you know, React content and here's, and here's why React content is bad. No, he doesn't even mention it. It's just the biggest cloud chase ever. Uh, it's, the, it's the fight and that's it. <laughs> like, you know, you can't say a statement like this and still title the video like this and how we have finite, you know, sources. These are actual arguments brought up by people like Dark Viper, who has extreme knowledge on the subject. Dark Viper is a smart guy, Mudahar. I actually respect Dark Viper. You're a literal blabbering moron that has been wrong about pretty much every point you have ever made about business and law. You're only good at fixing printers. That's why I make so much fun of you. Because you're someone with 3 million subscribers, who is, is thinking that he is smarter than everyone else because he has money. And, you know, guess what? That's usually not actually the case. Again, I, I, I know that Mudahar fanboys are watching this. What do you mean, bruh? I have so many videos going over him not understanding how business works, not understanding how law works. Just, just watch those videos. But even if you watch them, you're probably not gonna understand because Mudahar still needs to be right because this is how the li uh, this is how life works. You want the guy that you like to be right, you know? Because if you're if the guy you like is wrong, that means you're wrong, and you cannot be wrong because that feels bad. So, trying to convince someone that Mudahar is is an idiot if they like him is impossible. Now, for example, I got bruh. I got the most perfect, uh, the most absolute perfect uh, YouTube comment uh, 
fit it. Oh, I can't actually show it. It's in the other browser. Uh, I had the most perfect YouTube video comment for this, by the way, uh, on my last video where I covered XQC and Mudahat, and the comment was just perfect. It perfectly encapsulates everything that's wrong, uh, of, uh, wrong with you people watching who are fanboys. And the comment literally went like this, Oh, Muda had, had, su had such good points, and you didn't like them, or you didn't understand them. How did I not understand them? Fuck, the fuck do I know? Like, did I explain them incorrectly? No, n none of that. Oh, but I liked... Uh, like, it's literally a story. Oh, but you said Moonheart was wrong, that was stupid, and I didn't like it. But when you said XQC was wrong because I like Moonheart, oh boy, was that a 10 out of 10 part of the video. Yeah. And, and that's pretty much it. You can't answer that. There, there's, not, there's no point in answering that because that's just how it's gonna go. Sadly. Fanboys. And also people like Jack's Films, who we're going to get to later. So again, he's also saying don't make a money argument type. Where? Uh, I didn't mention money at all. We're talking about impressions, not about ad revenue. He says ad revenue comprises 1% of his total income. I don't disagree. Ad revenue isn't that important. XQC, insecurity doesn't exist. We're both actually very wealthy individuals, okay? Yes, you're far wealthier than I am in terms of getting some of these crazy kick deals, but we both live pretty good lives, okay? Like, all things considered, we're blessed, both of us. So insecurity doesn't really matter at this point. We both have more money than we could ever understand what to do with our life, okay? That's pretty much how it goes down into. So again, the insecurity, anytime some- That's a- <laughs> Okay, since he actually... Okay, so this is grandstanding, by the way. It's a lie. He he has a lot of money. That's, by the way, 100% true. He is a millionaire. But I just want to point out how absolutely fickle and uh, how, how absolutely dishonest saying something like this is. He's doing this just to grandstand. It is... Hey... There's no way I will ever convince a Muta hard fanboy, but Muta does things for brownie points, okay? Muta will take and talk about uh, the right thing just because he wants to look virtuous and whatnot. Because again, I will remind you that this is the guy who took uh, took on the... What was what was the sponsorship called? The uh, the the land in Scotland uh, titles established titles. He took on the established title sponsorship. He researched them not at all. Then he lied that he researched them. The reason he took on the established title sponsorship uh, ship was because well everyone else was taking on the established title uh, sponsorship. No one actually researches anything that they sponsor, and so he did also not. But he lied. Oh, I didn't check it out enough. He didn't check it out at all because, as it turns out, established uh, established titles can be proven that they uh, that, that they were pretty much like a, almost an alleged blatant scam just by googling. Okay, and then he, and th that's not, by the way, the big thing, okay, that's actually understandable, that's human behavior, but what did Murahar do after that debacle and he got called out? He literally came out and said, oh, guys, I need to take sponsorships because sometimes I make videos that I know we're gonna make less money, so I need these sponsorships so I don't lose money. Yeah. That's literally his state, by the way. That's literally almost word for word what he said. That he needs, he is forced to take on these sponsorships because otherwise he would have less money. Okay? So, the, just the fact that he did that makes any point like this grandstanding and just, you know, moral high grounding for, you know, lies. Somebody mentions it, it's like, in this context, you sound like a beta. Now write another essay to farm some impressions. You wrote an entire essay yourself, but okay. Maybe you generate enough Twitter revenue to shut up, and next time you wake up, you feel like a weak ass sleep. <laughs> True. Lynn is down the hall and to the left. Now, of course, I literally had to respond and say, uh, dog, nobody brought up income as an example, period. Now, in this entire post, it was funny. I also want to bring up the fact that at... Uh, there's, there's a timeline here, by the way, and I just want to bring it up because it's hilarious, because it does demonstrate soy boy behavior, because this is how it went, okay? Uh, Murahar call, uh, calls out XQC, 
A couple of fathers pass, XQC responds. A couple of fathers then pass, Mudahar responds. And Mudahar understands at this point this is going to be a Twitter spat, you know? Uh, I'll, uh, like, half an hour passes and XQC later responds. And then two minutes pass and Mudahar responds. He's, like, sitting there waiting, refreshing Twitter. That is soy boy behavior. I guess it makes sense that you are upset. Everyone is reacting to actual good content instead of whatever you post. X, what are you on about, bro? You were literally watching one of my videos on your stream too. What the fuck? I wonder if someone sent him this or did he actually have to go and find this on his own? That's kind of insane. Uh, okay, and it's funny because when I called him out on that, he said it was a good video. You didn't think that Valorant video I made was good. You said that I was just mad that I couldn't get a CD key or a key for the game. You just created the easiest backdoor rootkit into your system by playing- oh, Okay, we get a chat. He, get a chat. He, he didn't access the beta. He didn't get a key. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Next. Can we, can we move on now? He's also nom 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 like, god damn. Damn. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll That's actually here, funny. I'm not really here to start fights or something. I'm just here to respond to- Bruh, you're not here to start fights. You literally made this whole video because you, uh, because he hurt your feelings and you need to make it known to the world that he was wrong. Like, bruh, like, fucking let's live in reality, okay? You're here molding your fucking ass off because your your internet fame got just a little bit hinged by XQC, a literal unhinged maniac. Points and actually what I believe to be misinformation. So of course when I talked about, hey listen, nobody's bringing up income, I'm literally just talking about impressions being cannibalized, that's it. He then says, watch time from impressions equal ads equal money. He tried it, bro tried to pretend he makes uploads out of the kindness of his heart. This is where my brain actually broke to the point where I was like, what are you, what are you, what point is you responding to, homie? Come on now. I, by the way, completely true. I didn't understand half the time who was responding to what and why. <laughs> but that's not just XQC, that's also him. It's like, what the fuck, what the fuck is even this supposed to, why did you say that? Ow. This is why, by the way, uh, have, having an uh, argument in the comment section is kind of fucking pointless in the first place. If you want to have an argument, you do a call. And then, of course, uh, he says right after that, you are essentially saying you care about impressions and not about the money it comes with. Gotcha. I'm out of arguments like this one. You are a god. Now, at that point, the entire argument stopped, and I pretty much just said, listen, Impressions, when you actually gain organic impressions on YouTube, leads to a long-term organic channel growth. It's not about the money you make in the short term, it's about the brand you build in the long term. And for a lot of creators, having their brand being built is what's really important at the end of the day. Now, when it comes to impressions... He is correct on under, uh, on this underlying uh, underlying thing. But again, Mudahar is a fucking moron who doesn't understand words and can't use words properly. Admittedly, we all, I'm, nit I, I'm slightly nitpicking here, but considering he said the XUC needs to educate himself while, he's, uh, while he himself can't even fucking use words properly, impressions don't grow channels. Okay, Impre uh, impressions. The way he uh, uh, the way he phrases this, it does not grow channels. Recurring impressions grow channels. If you're gonna say that, then say recurring impressions grow uh, grow channels. People subscribing grow channels. Impressions alone don't grow channels. If we're talking about impressions, impressions is by the way literally the people uh, who saw your video, pretty much. Then. XQC is actually growing your channel by reacting to it, because even if one person decides to fucking go look up the original congratulations, that's an impression. You, 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 your channel is growing. XQC is doing a good job. You see, this is why language matters and being a moron matters even more, because he doesn't even know he actually just said XQC is doing a good thing. But he made the sentence so poorly, uh, poorly made, that, you know, he accidentally makes XQC be the good guy here, and he has no clue about this. Admittedly, we all again understood what he means, but I, I just find this, uh, this ironic.
happens in this situation, what I'm talking about is when you go to the homepage on YouTube. In my homepage on YouTube, I have a few videos from people like Mythical Kitchen because I watch cooking content. I've got, you know, I built an ocean bunker. This kind of stuff is really popular. Now, I don't really watch necessarily. How many over labs do we have? Uh, none. Dude, gee, geez, he has this sniper wolf. Oof kind of stuff i may click on it but then inside this i've also got xqc is addicted to ali g videos yeah because you uh oh he's gonna talk about the cannibalization pot yeah he's completely wrong about this this is the like the one thing you can actually uh you know comment about dot wi uh, wipers video potentially being slightly wrong but again mudahar is never gonna understand these points another reactive piece of content and then of course i've got sniper wolf which i'll get to whoo -hoo, well in the end but in this entire situation i got one recommended video that made it through this impossible dream a shenmue retrospective i watch a lot of content in regards to classic video games and video game essays so this guy retro mule actually got recommended to me and this video yesterday was at like 2000 3,000 views. So it's being pushed in the algorithm because yes. YouTube believes for me, it's good content. So yes. I clicked on this video and it's 33 minutes long. And if you watch it, it's actually well produced. Okay. It's pretty much up there with a lot of bigger channels that, I, that, that cover video game retrospectives. Now, the reason why YouTube recommended this to me is because it looked at similar content that I watched, yes. promoted it, and it promoted it specifically to me because it yes. knew that if I clicked and watched it, I would make it all the way through, which I did, which... It had no idea you're gonna make it through all the way, okay? That's a blatant lie. Severely benefits this creator. That kind of organic growth is actually what you need to be huge. Years ago, when I covered creepypastas, I had 100 subscribers, right? It was because of how YouTube naturally promoted me, not so much shoutouts, and when I covered the deep web and it naturally promoted me, that my channel started reaching actual subscribers that would stick around for the long term. That is the most important thing that you can have. I know a lot of people say that bigger streamers often give exposure, but if you look at the actual metrics of it, look at a lot of channels... That is bullshit. We already, I already talked about it. Asmongold's average conversion rate for a video is 0 0.02 at the best of days. AKA, if he tells, it tells his drones to subscribe, maybe 1k will do that, okay? Maybe 1k out of a million will do that, or maybe 2k out of a million. It's pretty insane. They do give exposure to. When, that, when those channels fall out of favor with, you know, what's being regularly streamed, those channels may plateau or, you know, they may sometimes rise. It really is a, a, a throw of the coin, so to speak. Now, one could argue nobody would watch this kind of content if it wasn't for a reactive streamer. And That's this is where we stupid. get into situations where I just have to say it, it doesn't matter what the audience in the situation thinks, okay? Because at the end of the day, uploading somebody's entire video onto your channel is very much against the law, against <laughs> the legal framework. It's not. As long as you have reacted to literally every part, uh, it's fine. ...of copyright and fair use. Nope. Now, when we look at copyright and fair use in this situation, I'm going to show you from the Stanford University... I know, by the way, why he is saying and uploading the whole thing. Because the reality is, <clears throat> most people fail at this. <clears throat> You're not ever supposed to react to a full video from start to finish, pretty much. Uh, because you will never actually talk about everything that they talked about. Well, s maybe it's maybe some do, but it's really, really hard. Most won't. So, when you upload a full video from start to finish, there are going to be parts where you have no input, and, it fall and that part does not fall under fair use. You need to understand that there's no threshold for fair use to be acquired, so it is fair use. It's either all fair use, or none of it is fair use. Diversity, okay? So there are four factors judge, judges consider. The purpose and character of your use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount of substantiality, and the effect of the use upon the potential market. All very important. So for instance, one of them is the transformative character, the factor. Has the material you've taken from the original work been transformed by adding new expression or meaning, new information, aesthetics, insights, and understanding? In a lot of cases, sitting around watching a video and then fucking doing one of these, or... Yeah. Uh, Hey boys, I just, uh, I just pinched one off in the old bathroom there. I'll fucking drop some nuclear bombs out if you catch my drift. Oppenheimer at that toilet. That's not exactly informative. <sighs> Going, wow! Oh my- That doesn't need to be informative. That- 
that's why I mentioned at the start. Can going to the toilet be considered uh, be considered as a, a, a as a commentary about how bad the video is that you don't want to see it, and that itself be considered commentary? Now I know that that sentence is way too hard for the hard fanboys to understand, but it, it, it's a sentence. I don't know how to explain it. It's self-explanatory. If you don't understand it, well, fuck you, honestly, <laughs> you fucking moron, retard. Kill yourself. <laughs> In any case, also, you know, this had more points than just that, but he's willingly ignoring them. Arrow fucking drop some nuclear bombs out if you catch my drift Oppenheimer at that toilet. That's not exactly informative. Going, wow, oh my god, that's crazy. Fuck! That's not really transformative. You, uh, you... <sighs> Everyone, by the way, always hinges on the informative part, but the reality is... It can be easily transformative without a single shred of added information or informativity in general. This is this is what people don't understand. You don't need to add anything informative to, for it to be transformative. Either, okay? If you're going to be offering insight, some of the best React content that I've personally watched are like, you know, videos of police breakdowns where they're being reacted to by SWAT team members, cops, you know, people with actual insightful relevant material to further add to a piece. Now, of course, then you've got the nature of the copyrighted work. So because the dissemination of facts and information benefits the public, you have more leeway to copy from factual works such as biographies than you do from fictional works such as plays or novels. This has, I, I don't think that has ever been a time where that actually matters. And just to prove a point, um, what what's it called? There was a lawsuit where some woman tried to sue someone uh, for making a video of her where it sounds like she uh, sounds like she's insane and she tried uh, and she sued them for uh, uh, infringing and that video was literally just recutting and replacing pieces of that content in different place there was no text added there were no visuals added there wasn't a single word spoken it was literally that woman's whole entire video from start to finish and it was just cut up the mid part was at the start, the, L the end part was at the middle, the start was if somewhere, <clears throat> and some part got recopied. And guess what? That, that shit didn't even actually go to a trial. The judge just flat out there said, without any argument, this is transformative. Because the, the fact alone that you are trying to sue the, this video for making you look dumb means that it's transformative because your original video was uh, was uh, was not making you look dumb and now you're saying that this video that they re-uploaded that is supposed to be yours is making you look dumb which inherently means it is transformative by nature so again, in some cases, if you're covering like archival or news or something of that nature, you may tend to get away just because you're talking about actual facts in the situation. But again, that's just one test. The amount of substantiability, the less you take, the more likely that your copying will be excused as fair use. However, yep. even if you take a small portion of work, your copying will not be a fair use if the portion taken is the heart of the work. In other words, you're more likely to run into problems if you take the most memorable aspect of a work. So again, it's all going to have to be tested in court, but courts would probably unanimously agree that if you're uploading somebody's entire video, that is definitely not fair use. Now, I've heard the argument... Yeah, I know he's going to say that. That's the only thing you can say. ...that, oh, but it's a 10-minute video, but it's an hour and a half response Doesn't to the reaction. Doesn't that matter. That is still against the law in certain cases. He, okay, okay, I thought he's going to... He, he's, he doesn't understand what he's talking about yet again. Most, the length does not matter. What matters in this case is, uh, th this is, this is what I, by the way, I constantly say about Asmongold uh, react videos, by the way. Asmongold takes a, takes a 10 minute video and yeah, he makes it to 20 minutes. But, but he makes it to those 20 minutes because he's talking about, uh, suddenly he stops the video like one minute in and then he's like, Oh boys, 
I just remembered how me and Todd, when we were kids, we were sucking each other off by the garages. And then he goes on a 10 minute ramble about something that completely is irrelevant to the subject at all. It's just a random ramble in between. Okay, that's why uh, that's why video length literally does not matter. You can probably make a uh, you you can take a twenty uh, a thirty minute clip of a video, add one minute on top of it, and as long as it actually uh, it actually you know you say something that is on point, that could be considered fair use. Video length has nothing to do with it. Cases in many cases because you've uploaded the entire piece. Now, when I cover a video or I react, not react to a video, but respond or, 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 or look at a video, I take pretty much as much as I need and I respond to it. So if a video is seven minutes long, I try to make sure that I'm only taking the 10, 15 seconds, including the context for uh, whatever I'm responding to or whatever yep. I'm actually building upon off of, okay? That's pretty much the fair use test in my head. Even that could be taken to court. Now, yeah, there's no guarantee that that's going to actually be right. You know, he he's trying to be fair use, but he has no idea if he's actually fair use. Again, I have an actual argument. In like, I, I did this to an act uh, to Actman videos, but I said, yeah, the Actman may not actually fall. Actman's videos may not actually fall under fair use. But when I show speed was copyright striking people left and right, the... A lot of a lot of the videos that were done about him were blatantly guaranteed not fair use, because they just had clips of him without any context, without any commentary, without anything, just put in for comic relief. That is not fair use at all. Courtroom, if that ever happens, but in most streamers' cases, they would absolutely be slapped upside the head if they were to go to a courtroom and argue that aping an entire piece of work is somehow fair use or transformative. Then, of course, the effect upon the open market, which is... No, like, make no mistake, XQC and Hassan are definitely gonna be destroyed in court for, uh, for whatever. Asmongold, even though I do give him flack, has kind of changed in the past year. He doesn't actually go on so many useless rants, he does talk about the substance of the matter. Actually, what the biggest piece is. Because you've re-uploaded an entire video, you've also created a market substitute as well. Yep. And a market substitute means that if somebody watched the entire video through a streamer, why the fuck would they go and watch it on the original channel? Now yep. you might be like, okay, maybe they watch one video and then sure, now I'm gonna go see what the original channel is. Doesn't is all matter. About. But what if it turns out that the streamer in this case is consistently just reacting to this channel? They're just constantly watching this material. So every new video that's uploaded, the and I will add one more thing against the React videos that <clears throat> no one seems to actually know this, but this is kind of vaguely in that direction. For example, Asmongold will constantly react to uh, certain people. And what happens if Asmongold, uh, if Asmongold reacts to a certain person constantly and there is a person who is subscribed to Asmongold because he likes what he does and he likes Asmongold's opinions. And then they're uh, also subscribed to that channel that Asmongold is constantly reacting to, right? And that channel uploads, you know, a lot of videos, but some of them aren't that great. And you don't want to watch all of them, okay? That video uploads like three videos a week, but you only watch like one of them. And now comes Asmongold. The person who's just gonna react to the best of those videos. And he does. The person who was initially subscribed to these two channels has absolutely no more need to subscribe to that channel because all the good videos that he wants to watch are gonna be watched by Asmongold and now he gets the added benefit that he likes Asmongold on top of it. So, Asmongold is not just substituting a video, Asmongold is literally substituting a whole channel. That's, th no one's talking about that. Dark Viper EU, that's something for you, my boy. The potential market, you know, uh, consumer looks at it and says, oh, this guy uploaded a video, 20 minutes later a streamer will react to it and they'll upload it on their channel, I'll just watch it that way. That's... That is the stupidest fucking shit I ever heard. Okay, he come... I, I, do, I did not know you can actually fuck up this point so much. Mora, you absolute beast! The beast of the east, the pest of the west, a brainless twat nonetheless. Amazing.
This point actually made... So, l let's listen to this again. Because he just actually gave the best defense possible for React channels like XQC. Potential market, you know, uh, consumer looks at it and says, oh, this guy uploaded a video. 20 minutes later, a streamer will react to it and they'll upload it on their channel. I'll just watch it that way. If you have the original video visible by the person who could potentially watch it and that person says, nah, I'm not going to watch this. And then XQC uploads his video and that person goes like, ooh, XQC. Uh, you can easily make the argument that the original video literally has no meaning in this situation. That XQC is the full 100% value of the video. It doesn't matter if he's watching that, that initial video. This is... You, you just unironically made one of the best arguments for Reacts being okay. Because there are people that don't... Because... Because he... Because there are people who don't actually care. Uh, they care just about, Oh, it's XQC, I like him, he's watching a thing. <laughs> it's the same as uh, Moonahar fanboys are gonna dislike this video no matter what. Even if they agree with what I say. It's just the fact that uh, Moonahar was attacked by me and my bad opinions. So, you know, they need to dislike it and they need to say it's bad. It doesn't matter if they even agree to some parts of it. it it's it, This is just how life works. And that's a great argument for uh, actual uh, people who do react. Because maybe the person, be, because there's a chance actually that person cares only about their person who does the react. And that's what gives the initial value to the original video that he's watching. Other than that, that original video is garbage that's not interesting for them. That's what it can do on the open market. And a lot of movies, TV shows, books have issues against it. The reason why YouTubers don't jump into it, especially smaller ones, is because getting into a legal battle is often an issue with how much money you have. Yep. And it can absolutely cripple you financially. It can cripple your time. It can stop you from even performing in your career for a long time, which is yep. why most people don't do it. Also, there is a societal issue True. where if you go up against a larger streamer or a larger creator, you could effectively end your career right there and then. So a lot of people either just let it Not happen true. or don't talk about it. But it doesn't stop the predatory and leechy nature of the situation. Now to understand, one thing that I want to get back to XQC on is when he talks about they can claim the whole thing and they do it lots of times. By the way, he's literally admitting here that he is in the wrong. Just with this tweet. <laughs> I swear you guys just make shit up for the hell of it. Honestly, I actually oh, say you're making it up. Because let's talk about how claiming videos works. This is where I wish people- who Oh, wait, he's an idiot! This topic actually researched the material that they covered. Because generally, I didn't even know this, but people who uh, talk about claiming videos, YouTube has an entire description about this. Not everyone can claim YouTube videos and get the revenue off of them. Here's the page that says upload and claim your videos. Features just- Oh, he went there, yeah. But no, 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 no. This is a lie. Murahar is trying to twist facts. His original, his original take on, he's trying to twist facts. He knows he's in the wrong. I, I pointed this out that it's kind of fucking wild that this guy's a YouTuber and he doesn't even know this ba uh, this much. Anyone can do this. You don't even need to have a YouTube channel to do this. You you don't li you literally don't even need to have a YouTube channel to do this. Obviously, think about it logically. Someone re-uploads, I don't know, a Marvel movie. Do you think Marvel has to fucking make a YouTube account and then get partnership to do it? No. Marvel just presses the buttons and fucking takes it down. You don't even need to have an account to do this. in this article, and his point was, oh, you need to first be partnered or under a, a giant program or something to be even uh, to even be able to do this. But he completely dropped the ball here. Disgusting and weak. Only apply to users of YouTube Studio Content Manager. For general info on uploading videos, learn more here. So this is already a different thing. YouTube offers multiple ways to upload videos. For channel link to a content manager account, uploading a video involves setting policies, specifying ownership, and creating an asset. So again, you need to have a content manager account, meaning that you're pretty much a uh, MCN or you're a big person, okay? People who are in Disney, no. Fox. A lot of these big studios, big studios, have access to these feature sets. No. Not every creator, even your largest creator, doesn't have access to this unless they're working with an already established MC. 
So, also, he's twisting one thing. I can already tell from the way he's speaking. Uh, these big studios and whatnot, they are not gonna claim a video for revenue sharing. They're literally just striking it down. They they do not want anyone to, to show their videos. They are just blatantly striking them down. And that's what you can do. You don't need a YouTube thing to, you know, strike down something. Now, do you, uh, do you need a YouTube account to actually get a revenue share? I think you only need that AdSense because that's their payout system. But, you know, you can still do it. Again, he's, he's trying to twist history here. Because his initial take was 100%. Oh, you need to be a big YouTuber to even do this. No, that's a lie. You can be no one and do this. Admittedly, if you're no one, as he said, if you file a wrongful DMC, congratulations, your life's getting destroyed forever, most likely, if someone actually chooses to do so. Hell, your family is probably gonna get destroyed under the right circumstances if you do so, uh, choose so. This is why it's, uh, this is why not a lot of abuse is done often here, because the dangers of doing that are huge, because it's like a, it's a real lawsuit. You can go to prison, you can potentially, well, you can potentially go to prison. Other than that, you're probably going to be poor for the rest of your lives. CN. We can get into how predatory MCNs are, but this is the one thing that people mistake. They think that just because YouTube tells you how many people are reacting to your videos, that they suddenly give you the option to claim it. You can't claim it. All you can do is issue a DMCA, yep. which is literally starting a lawsuit. You can't just claim it. Not every creator can. So this argument- No, was no, you can. You literally said that everyone can do it. Flat on its ass. Now, this is where we're going to look at Sniper Wolf. She is by far the ending crutch to this. She is the best reactor upon reactors, okay? YouTube promotes now, you her. Probably... YouTube literally has said you should try to be as good as Sniper Wolf when it comes to YouTube. So, YouTube themselves have been officially on the record stating that Sniper Wolf react content is 10 out of 10 and you should do it like her. We watched a video from Jack's Films that breaks the situation down. But to give you an idea, she has almost 34 million subscribers, and Sniper Wolf's been around for a long time, okay? Yep. She's been around, uh, I believe her first videos were literally Metal Gear Solid online videos, from the MGS4 era, no less. She's, she's an OG creator. Now, if you look into her channel, it's, uh, it's just TikTok reaction shit. That's yep. all it is, okay? Uh, sus cartoon moments that'll leave, that, that'll ruin your childhood. Oh, you start? Okay, you've got creative people. Yeah, it's, uh, we, I, I actually looked into this. Her videos literally are meant for children and women. That's why she's so ridiculously successful. Because children and women are gonna subscribe. Adult men don't subscribe, assholes. On another level, okay? That's it. Now, in this situation, we're gonna look at how much uh, exposure actually means. So, going back in time to about seven days ago, the most unlucky people ever on TikTok. Okay, so if you look into this video, no credit to any of these creators, right? And yep. one of the actual... Con uh, okay, so first of all, you don't need... Okay, so first of all, again, you don't need to credit anyone if it falls under fair use, okay? Crediting is one way to actually avoid being called out, and it's a one... It's one way to try, uh, to try and you know say, oh, this is fair use because I credited you. But if you, uh, but if you fully believe that your videos are fair use, you don't need to credit shit. Conspiracies I've had in this situation is, I'm, I, I'm almost certainly sure that she might have a Google document sheet where she like reads off like what each TikTok she's gonna be reacting to is about. Probably offers, like a laugh, maybe like one sentence insight, and an editor builds that together. That's like these. Yo, that that's not true. She actually talks. She does actually talk quite a lot. Speedrun optimal. But is it is it informative? Is it building upon the content? Yes, actually it is, because she jokes. She continues the jokes. It's like. Uh, every, well not, well she doesn't always do it, but I, again, I watched, I made a video about this. She sees a thing happen, like, you know, a dog doing something, then she continues the joke. She builds upon the joke. Technically, that is, by the way, fair use. Reaction strat, okay? I would do that to save me the five minutes out of a 20 minute record. But one thing that we're going to be looking at over here is if you scroll up a little bit too further into the situation, we're going to find a channel that gets lucky enough to showcase its TikTok strategy or its TikTok account. Now, in this situation, strategy. this is Carla underscore MPL. 
Great gun from like the uh, Black Ops era. Okay, great submachine title. We're gonna go all the way and see what her account is doing right now. So Carla MPL right over here. This is her channel. 5,485 5, followers. Okay, so obviously you know it's just a standard account. Uh, that exposure is really paying. Is this TikTok or Instagram? This looks like Instagram. For the what am I wrong? Man, like 400 plays? God damn, insane. Now, obviously, she's built this following not because of Sniper Wolf, but because if you go back into her history, there are a couple of videos that have actually hit in the algorithm. For instance, one of them was like 36,000 plays. One of them was 16,000 plays. So not because of a YouTuber was this TikToker help. I bet they don't even know that they were reacted to. Yeah. No credit, no nothing offered whatsoever. So again, YouTube content creators, right? The actual, uh, the YouTube like Twitter account literally was like, hey, where does Sniper Wolf get videos, uh, video ideas from fans? <laughs> now I don't take this as like YouTube defending this kind of content. I it is, it is, it's officially, it's an official part of YouTube. It is officially defense by law. I actually highly doubt anyone beyond the social media manager yo the social media manager by the way i now i now this is now this is just my opinion i have no way to prove this but i will be damned if this is not the truth every social media that youtube has most likely has a white list approved by uh, certain higher people up the chain on youtube of who they can talk about who they can interact with and so on and sniper wolf is on the white list has ever actually truly looked into what kind of content that she's creating she's just really favored by youtube and that's pretty much the situation that we're at but this kind of content is ultimately just detrimental. A, it doesn't require a whole heck of a lot of effort. Seriously, if all you were gonna do is upload TikTok reaction content, your life is easy as hell. Yep. It's literally the easiest form of content that you can produce. No research, no effort, no nothing, period. But that being said, ladies and gentlemen- Doesn't mean that's not fair use though. Again, doesn't mean that's not fair use. You don't need to research everything to make it fair use. I think this video has gone on long enough. True. I uh, disagree. I'm out. Have a nice day, bye-bye.